and I dropped out of my college in the third year when I was just two semesters away from getting the degree, engineering degree. Came to Mumbai, got heavily into theater and also other skills that I thought were necessary to become an actor. And uh, by the way, this time I stayed with six other guys in a single room kitchen, but this time I was prepared for it. This time, there was one difference. I was driven. My self-respect was at stake. My ex-college mates, one of them is sitting right here in black shirt, uh, they thought that I was that disaster that folks in engineering and B schools should never become. So I had to prove a point to everybody. I had to prove a point to my family. Most importantly, I had to prove a point to myself. And this was the time when I was also a background dancer. So I was dancing behind all the possible stars that you can think of, Shah Rukh Khan, Shahid Kapoor, everybody. And I was thinking, I was thinking to myself while I was performing, okay, it's just three steps away, there I have to get. And uh, everything will be sorted. And I kept going like that. And two years later, guess what? I got myself my first big break. I was selected for a prime time show on a TV. Now hear me out, it was a seriously a big break because I started earning. People started recognizing me. To be honest, I would deliberately go and roam in all these malls so that people could look at me, smile, ask for my photo. And I was watching myself on TV for the first time. You have no idea how it feels for somebody like me to, uh, you know, I was looking at me for, and I was looking at myself every day on TV. It was a big, big, big high. I also suddenly discovered that I actually had many friends from like who were absent all this while, but suddenly they popped up. <laughs> and uh, the show became popular. I was making good money to a point that money stopped being a differentiator in my life. And I was becoming more and more popular. Now I cannot go to all those malls that I was going all alone. So I wanted somebody to be with me, to save me. So you know what I'm saying. I bought myself my first dream house. I bought myself my dream car. And just a note to you as well. I was getting such female attention that my engineering college friends could only possibly dream of. <laughs> so I was having a time of my life. And then something unusual happened. I got used to everything. And I felt cheated. I stayed with all these dreams for 10 and 15 years of my life. I was promised happiness and I was promised success. But all these things stayed with me just for a few days. And I'm punctuating me because I started from zero money and zero recognition. So I was not happy. How can that it be? I didn't like this version of success. And the future me again was luring the present me. But this time, I decided otherwise. I would do something else. I, so that gets us to the second point, which is the only truth. Uh, I won't take too much time, I'll just try to keep it short. I figured something. I figured that something, seemingly big things, were not that big once I got them. And looking back in the past, I realized that maybe smaller things were way bigger. And there was one thing that was missing in my life that was the cause of this illusion. And that thing that was missing was now. I was all these years just 
I was obsessed about what's going to happen. I used to draw those flowcharts that we are, uh, we are taught in schools. That if this happens, I'll do that, and uh, six months from now, I'll be here. So I wanted to be in control. I was so obsessed about my future. I was taking the entire responsibility about the past. But all I was doing was frequently swinging from past to future, not living in actual sense. Well, <clears throat> I also figured that when I perform on stage or in front of camera, I'm so much excited. I am so much interested. I was paying so much attention that there was no room to think about future or the past. I was just there in the moment. I was alive in true sense when I was performing. And for the first time, trust me, in a long time, I understood the true meaning of success, which was not money plus recognition, but it was now plus excitement. This realization happened in 2011 and it has been five years. Now let me share another very short uh, story with you. When I was in school, 4 to 5.30 p.m. was the time when I was allowed to go out and play. I was asked to be an engineer. But the entire day, I, was, I used to wait for 4 p.m. to happen. I would step out and the next one and a half hours felt like five minutes. <laughs> I didn't understand uh, this then, but now very honestly, very confidently, I can tell you this, that I'm living that 4 to 5.30 life right now since last five years. Cause and effects are, no, are, are not different. Excitement is the cause, excitement is the effect. I get hired again and again because all these success mantras that we talk about, you know, hard work, belief, focus, vision, risk taking, talent, perseverance, we can go on and on. But all these success mantras are now the side effects of the process itself. I'm so engaged, I'm so, it commands my attention so much that there's nothing else that I can think about. So hard work doesn't feel, feels like hard work. And there's nothing else that you can do but to uh, persist. Talent you will cultivate, vision you will get, focus there is no other way because it's, 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 it's commanding your attention so much. So, here I am right now, five years uh, down the line. Money and fame, although still could not earn back their reputation in my life. But let me show you one thing. I have much more of them than I had ever planned. And the best thing, uh, my college, uh, one of the professors who is very dear to me, called me recently uh, about uh, asking me to plan this interaction with students and I very humbly requested that can I get my degree back. <laughs> and, and it's uh, uh, it's happening and I'm very excited.